Hey guys, welcome back to my gratitude series. This weekly series is about my journey of being content with what's already in my life without shopping for things that I don't need. If you'd like more info on this gratitude project or you're interested in seeing items I've shared in the past, please click right up here. As an extension of yesterday's morning chat, today I'd like to share some of my favorite non-toxic or less toxic personal care products. We're exposed to so many different chemicals in our everyday lives, many of which are completely out of our control. But I think most of us, when we have the choice, would choose safer, cleanly formulated products to put on our skin. And I hope that this video starts that conversation. Yesterday, I spoke about doing a beauty cabinet detox. Simply put, this means to go through your personal care products and check for ingredients that may be harmful and then consider replacing them with healthier alternatives. I'll leave a link below outlining the details of the beauty cabinet detox. Some ways to look into how clean or dirty your products are is to check out the EWG Skin Deep database or the Think Dirty app or going onto Beauty Hero's website and looking at the villains and superpower ingredients list. Just a note, the rating systems on EWG and Think Dirty vary slightly, as shown here. EWG is an American organization and Think Dirty is based out of Canada. And like the EU, Canadian cosmetics regulations are stricter than those in the US. I am not an expert by any means when it comes to non-toxic or green beauty. Based on the resources available to me that I'm currently aware of, I am choosing to use products that are more cleanly formulated than the ones that I was previously using. Here are five of my favorite personal care products. You guys have probably heard me talk about this oil before. I've been using rosehip oil for a while now for its anti-aging benefits. And because it contains natural vitamin A, I feel like it's really helped um, get rid of some of the hyperpigmentation or the red marks left after acne. I use this after cleansing before bed and sometimes I even mix a few drops into my daytime moisturizer. This brand that I'm using now suggests keeping it in the fridge after opening and to use it within six months, whereas the brand I was using Using previously, LifeFlow had no mention of storing it in the fridge. This is the Kiss My Face Triple Action Toothpaste in the Cool Mint Gel. I've tried a bunch of natural toothpaste and this one is hands down my favorite and the most similar to traditional toothpaste in terms of taste and texture. This toothpaste contains aloe and tea tree oil and it does not contain fluoride and SLS. Now I've read conflicting things about whether to avoid or not to avoid fluoride and SLS so if you guys could give me some insight on that, that would be really helpful. I guess I'm erring more on the side of caution at the moment by using a toothpaste that doesn't contain those two ingredients. My hand soap recommendation is the EO hand soap in the lemon and eucalyptus scent. Previously, I was using the soft soap brand for basically my entire life. And then when I finally looked it up on the Think Dirty app, it had a rating of 10, which is pretty terrible. <laughs> I've read that one ingredient to avoid in hand soaps and hand sanitizers is an ingredient called triclosan, which is an antibacterial chemical that has been linked to like liver toxicity. And apparently if it's used too often, it can build a resistance in your body to um, antibiotics. Again, I'm not a scientist. And just so I don't repeat this for every product that I share, please let me know if I'm wrong. This body wash by Acure Organics, it is the cell stimulating body wash, smells amazing and Brandon loves this. He really, really doesn't give a crap when it comes to like these personal care products, but this is the one product where he's asked me to repurchase because it smells like Cherry Garcia, which I learned is one of his favorite ice cream flavors. One thing that I love about this brand is that they list their ingredients so that it's really easy to read and understand. Like next to the scientific name, Organic Rubus Fructicosis, it says Blackberry in like bold font for us like non-chemist folk. It also clearly lists all the potentially harmful ingredients that this product does not contain. I also love their day cream for the face and I've repurchased it multiple times. Okay, so this isn't part of today's video, but I just had to pull out the shower curtain that I washed um, because it was starting to stink. And I used Nelly's laundry soda that I talked about in a previous gratitude video and I just like smelled the bottom of it where it was stinky and it smells so clean and it's so white. It's gotten rid of all the weird yellow stains. So anyway, 
And the last product I have for you today is the Kiss My Face Shaving Cream. I have this in the lavender shea scent. It has the consistency of a creamy shower gel and it works just as well as any shaving cream that I've used before. One thing to note is I looked this up on EWG and it listed one of the ingredients as having a hazard rating of 9 but then I checked my bottle and I didn't see that ingredient on here so I'm wondering if that's just an old formulation. This has been lasting me forever. I've had this for over a year and there's definitely more than half the bottle left. So I'd love to know what's one non-toxic product you love or are interested in trying. Leave me a comment below or take a picture of it and share it with me on Instagram using the hashtag gratitudewithjen. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing more of the content that I share. As always, everything I've mentioned in this video will be listed below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and I hope your day and your attitudes filled with gratitude. Bye!